So what is the number theoretic transform? Um, so conveniently, you know, a few weeks before I was slated to uh, give this presentation, uh, I saw that, you know, the, the YouTube channel Veritasium had actually made a video on the fast Fourier transform, which is a, which is very related uh, to the number theoretic transform. The, the Fourier transform in general is, you can think of it as a way of decomposing a function or, or a signal down into sort of component parts. In the case of the, the Fourier transform, the traditional Fourier transform, those are sort of these sine waves um, that you can see here. Um, and it's, you know, it's something that's useful across many domains of in engineering, you know, signal processing. Um, there are, there are, it's really a sort of very broadly useful mathematical idea, and it comes up in, in Starks as well. Um, and so what we'll learn today is sort of more about the, the specific version of the Fourier transform that is used in, in risk zero. Um, and that is the number theoretic transform. So the Veritasium video also mentions briefly the, the so-called discrete Fourier transform, which is the idea that, you know, if you're working on a computer, computers are sort of these digital machines that uh, take in discrete data, they discrete chunks of data. And so instead of a continuous signal, um, a computer is only going to see, you know, a bunch of samples out of that data. Um, and so the discrete Fourier transform is an algorithm that, you know, can process a signal in that form and, and break it down in, into a bunch of constituent sine waves. Um, the number theoretic transform is sort of a, a modified version of the discrete Fourier transform, but with two big distinctions. Um, and the first is that, you know, rather than a continuous signal, right, a, a sort of an amplitude that's a a real number. Um, the number theoretic transform works more over groups and, and finite fields. Uh, so if you came to the, the study club a couple of weeks ago, you know, Paul introduced you to, to finite fields. Um, and so that's the first major difference between the number theoretic transform and the discrete Fourier transform. The other sort of major distinction is that the, the concept of sine waves or cosine waves gets replaced by polynomials. Um, you know, you, you have a composition of sine waves, or you can have an addition of a bunch of polynomials. And it turns out that polynomials are the, the right sort of analog for a sine wave when you're talking about finite fields. And of course, polynomials are very important for zero knowledge proof systems in general. And so um, I imagine some of you have come to the talks on, on previous weeks on these, but, uh, you know, Paul has some uh, nice YouTube playlists that sort of go over these things if, if you want to go over those. 